Hey, my name is Fan Fantasy, and I mainly cover tactical and immersive games. In this video today, I'm back with Gunner Heat PC, and I want to show you a very unique mission where we play as a reconnaissance element in Gunner Heat PC. And I want to discuss the Soviet and East German role of the reconnaissance element. For those who don't know what Gunner Heat PC is, it is a tank game that brings on some simulation mechanics. It is mainly single player with objectives. Feel free to check out my other previous videos, and also to check out their Discord and their Steam page. And also, before I go on, make sure to subscribe and stay up to date. Leave that like if you enjoyed this video as well. So let's talk about the reconnaissance element for the East Germans and the Soviets. In the Soviet doctrine, they would have dedicated units for reconnaissance, such as a reconnaissance battalion for the division level, and a reconnaissance company for a regiment. In the Order of March, they are usually operating ahead of the body, ranging from 25 kilometers all the way up to 50 and even 100 kilometers ahead. In my previous video, for the advanced guard, the reconnaissance patrol team is ahead of the vanguard to first observe and report back the enemy positions to the main body. They also force out the enemy to expose their defense, enemy compositions, concentrations, and possible weaknesses in flanks. They may also try to get a reaction from the enemy or even to deceive them that the main attack is coming causing them to reveal their defense. They may also play a deceptive role against the enemy. These recon units consist of lighter vehicles that are more mobile like the BRDMs and BMPs, and joining them in the reconnaissance can also be helicopters. So there are key features of the reconnaissance element within the Soviet doctrine. A typical reconnaissance unit would avoid sustained combat, either avoiding being spotted or breaking off contact once it's been made. Secondly, in open areas, the reconnaissance units will cross at high speeds and will move from one vantage point to another. These units will avoid staying in one air for too long and may dismount to get a better area of observation. Once they make contact with the enemy, the reconnaissance units may attempt to use small flanking maneuvers if possible to determine the enemy's composition and strength and defense. And lastly, if possible, the reconnaissance units may have the option of bypassing enemy groups to continue to move along their prescribed route. So, in Gunner Heat PC, the BRDM is a specialized light armor vehicle for the Royal Reconnaissance in the Soviet Doctrine, as it is quite fast and mobile. Hope you guys learned a thing or two about the Soviet understanding of reconnaissance and how to deploy them, which they play an important role in their doctrine. Alright guys, so we're going to be playing a mission called Main Effort. It's on the Folda outskirts, and we are playing as a BRDM recce section, tasked with screening a T-72 company, attacking a town to the front in 6 minutes. The enemy has set up a hasty defense position and expect to fall back during the attack. Uh, so basically we're needed to identify the ATGMs and call in artillery to destroy them. The supporting fire mission will also suppress the enemy town. And so the enemy composition is, we got, they got one company of attached ATGMs, two M113 platoons, and also some M60s and tow sections. Essentially we're eliminating the tow sections. So that's what we're doing. So looking at the map, we got our T-72 company just right behind us, just southwest of us. And we're gonna be attacking northeast. This whole town is occupied by the Blue Four. And we're tasked to eliminate the ATGM teams before they advance within six minutes. And we can probably expect them to be maybe up here in this tree line, uh, maybe south of it as well too, right along the trees, or maybe even south of the town right here along this open area and they're, they could be expecting us and so what we'll do is we'll traverse through the open field a little bit maybe move up along the road here and we'll go off road for a bit and maybe look at the trees tree lines and then we'll proceed to move forward and we'll maybe stay hidden we'll, we'll be concealed here and we'll call in artillery probably within the town and maybe in this open area too probably expect them to be even just northeast of the town as well and we'll go from there so this is our route we'll try to move along the road here if we can and since we can't really mark or identify right now currently in gunner hpc we'll just assume that our reconnaissance unit is communicating where the enemy positions are at all right so let's get this started all right so we're gonna make our way to the objectives we got our t72 company right behind us and our other BRDM. So the road here, but we're gonna move off road. I'm gonna check south of us. So far, it looks okay. No enemy positions north of us as well. Looks pretty clear. I am more concerned about the hill up in front of us and also the tree line, too. 
Alright, so we're going to use elevated area to peak. I'm going to get my second BRDM to halt. So far, I don't see contacts just yet. Oh, looks like we got two ATGMs and a M13. I'm going to fall back because if they... If I can see them, they can see me as well. So what I'll do is I'll call an artillery. So where I'm pointing at is where they're at. And we'll say around here. We'll wait for the artillery to take effect. But yeah, so far, um, this is a very interesting mission. It's kind of fun to play as a BRDM and other than tanks, because you know, gunner PC is mainly focused on tanks, but it's kind of nice to play as a different vehicle from time to time. So now the artillery is counting them. Looks like it's a good effect. Okay, we'll move up. Yeah, it looks like they're down. Yeah, you can see the blur when we're moving, which is a, a new added feature in the recent update. So I'm going to get him to follow me this column, so I'm going to follow along this road here. So I'm going to... I do hear shots on the right. I'm going to keep an eye out on the left side of the road there. Don't see anything in front. The town is right up ahead. Oh, I'm one three and... Uh, ATGM team just in front of us where I'm pointing at around here we're calling for artillery we'll wait Alright, so for a good effect on the on one of the ATGMs, I'm just going to suppress one of them. And also the M13, we might give away a position, but that's okay. okay we're going to keep moving on along this road. The town is to our left. Okay, we've got a whole M13 section to our right. Okay, this is bad. That 50 cal can actually penetrate through us, so I'm going to fall back and we'll call an artillery in that direction there. Let's call it in, oh, I think right here. Yeah, right there. Oh, it looks like a tank blew up there. Could be with their M60s. Oh, one of them's falling back. Good effect on the arty. May not damage the whole entire M13, but at least will damage the gunners. So that we can move up. Okay, we're gonna move up. So town is to our left. Oh, yep. We got uh M13s right up ahead. And our gunner's killed, so we'll call an arty right now. A reverse. Yeah, so they got our gunner, but we're just it's still doing complete a roll. So I think we might have. It might have been good effect. Yep, good effect on the targets over there. I'm not too sure if there's ATGMs 
in that town, but we're gonna keep moving up the road here until until six minutes are up. To here, return fire. Think, yep, friendly company is beginning their attack. Okay, so we're gonna keep moving up until we can spot for them. I think we got most of them up here. Oh no. We're gonna keep moving. So we are right up ahead. We're gonna bypass that. Because we can. So far, there's not much resistance in town, which is good. Ooh, I do see vehicle to our left. Looks like an M60. Okay, we're gonna. F and there's also a moment three. All right, so I think we did our role as the BRDM. We fulfilled our objective. So now we do here the artillery. But I'm more concerned about the M60s over there. Alright, so I'm going to be playing as the uh, T-72s. Okay, so I'm playing as the platoon leader. going to be moving up. So that should be our friendly RD that's pounding that town right there. And make sure that we're moving in wedge formation. But yeah. So far, I think the BRDM part is very interesting, calling out artilleries on the ATGM teams. I think we took most of them out, just from my knowledge. So this should make our job a little bit easier. Looks like one of the... Uh, and when threes are still up, send around on him. Fire. Target. Still up. Okay, we'll switch to heat next. And we'll adjust. Target destroyed. Next one. Alright, so we got. Reset the range and fire. Target destroyed. That should that should get him. Just finishing them off. Target. There you go. And target destroyed. Okay, so now we're going to be moving towards the town. If I am more concerned about back here, there should be an M60 there. So I'm going to see if we can spot them from up here. Still then. And one three, we're gonna finish him off. That should be it. There you go, the enemy has been destroyed. I think they're falling back. Okay. Look at him run. Alright, so that's pretty much it. We took our objectives and we have taken the town be a nice sight over here and we'll take a look at the after action port right now okay so i checked the filters and the artillery rounds for some reason don't count in this but so far we have taken out two of the full launcher sections one way west of the road and then one of them is in the middle where I'm zooming towards. And I think those are the only two sections that, were, that we were aware of. And then we also caught an artillery uh, just south of the town where the M113s are at and also towards the town too. 
And I think we were, yeah, very effective in taking out the the tow launcher sections without taking much damage. And I think the tanks might have retreated and one of our T-72s took them out. Yeah, right there. Wow. From like 1300 meters. Yeah, there's not too much to talk about in this mission aside from just how unique it is in terms of playing as a recon unit and just... You know, knowing your limitation, you don't engage, but you fall back and call in artillery or you mark it down for the main force to, to take care of. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this mission and just the Soviet doctrine for the reconnaissance elements. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to stay up to date. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay blessed.